I'm very happy to be here. My name is Nigeria Martin Sagbeti. Um, I work uh, in Kakasa as a as general manager and the head of a uh, technical service division. Every topic of this uh, course has actually spoken to what is lacking in my organization. Okay, I, I don't want to say it's lacking. It's something that we're not taking, you know, co a cognizant of. We, 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 they are there. Just like that, uh, uh, Charles, uh, that's a business of Charles, talked about cacanonies. Uh, okay, they are there, but we never take it so serious, but it's something that can lead to serious uh, problem in the future if it's not taken care of. So it has actually, uh, let me say, opened my eyes on what and what to do, pay attention to all those things that are wrong that we pretend as if they are not there. So this uh, this uh, course has been uh, like an eye-opener to me, to the positive change on how to drive an organization to the next level. So this program has actually, especially agile, you know, um, uh, agile features of uh, management. Um, it talks about uh, getting things to do and do it promptly, prompt response. So this has actually taken that away from strategy that is never measured, is strategy that is always there, is being repeated every year, but that has actually changed my perception about that. So uh, uh, the Agile talks about getting things to do and do it promptly. And that's what I will do when I get back to Nigeria. Um, most of the times we made mistake of uh, giving responsibility and not having accountability. I think that is, as a leader, I stand accountable for all the actions of my group. Okay, so um, I think that's what I'm going to adopt. Then uh, all the things that we pretend as if they are not there, the, the wrong things, the, the economies and all those things, is going to be seriously addressed. So with that, I think if that one is taken away from style of management, it will actually help the organization grow fast. So these are the things I want to adapt. Everything about this program is more of practical than theories. There are a lot of videos that, videos that we watched that speak to the moment of every uh, industry and organization in Nigeria, especially my organization. So if we put all these things uh, into practice, um, it's going to be an uh, organization in the future. So these, uh, all the practical illustrations that we have through the videos, through the, uh, let me see, the lectures, the testimonies, all this will actually impact my organization positively. In the one that, uh, uh, that is very impactful is that one of uh, economies because it's something that is practical. It's always there, we pretend as if they are not there. But I still want to uh, take the testimony of uh, this man um, from the stadium, the Liverpool Stadium, called Kaga. Uh, okay, a 81 year old man that played in S65, that played, uh, that uh, uh, helped England to win the Cup in uh, 1965. Okay. There was a question thrown to this man. How do you manage conflict? Said so there had never been conflict. Then the reason is there's discipline. And there's this and the way they select their teams is with distinction that is based on merit. If you look at it critically, if favorism is taken away from team selection and there's discipline from start to stop. Organization will not have the scars a limit. It will fly. But what do we do these days? We try to favor somebody, bringing them to the team, even when they don't have any to offer in the team. Uh, disciplines are not there. Complacency is just the order of the day. But with that, because it's like you can't have an organization together for how many years? Style of leadership was explained. There's one that uh, the first coach bully but getting results. The other one quiet and get more better results. So you can see these are practical things that speak to every organizational situation. So that 
is very very practical to me and it's something that is very easy you know it looks so so uh, simple but very very crucial to every organization so that practical example and it's coming from very good person with experience with a lot of exposures the lot a lot of visions you know so that that that's actually very amazing and i think uh, is he talks to, he talks to my heart if anybody have not heard about Texem or know what Texem stands for um then the person has not started anytime you come to Texem this is my second uh, uh, trainee in Texem anytime you come to Texem you go back with a different opinion about yourself about the organization that you represent um I will advise everybody over I mean, over there that want to embrace change, which they say is constant, to come to this place and learn. The choice of the leaders and uh, speakers, they are so amazing. These are not classroom professors. They are people that have experienced, live experience, that when you hear the experience, you feel humbled. Because in one way or the other, look at a uh, 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 is it Charles? Charles before? At his age, he's still learning. Who are you? What have you attained in life? An ambassador for how many years? And he's still learning. In fact, I saw a clip that he was a student in text. Where, no, these are the things that will humble you. So you know that you have to start rethinking. You, at what stage? At what stage? There's another thing that says when you stop learning, you start sinking. So if that is what we have we stand for, then we should everybody is encouraged to come to Tenzer. And nothing is Tenzer will drill you like the day the yesterday with close way. But they are just like the hot water that makes the tea valuable. Without hot water, tea is just a mere trash tea bag if it's not allowed to enter hot water it goes back to the trash but if you come here you might be drilled at your age at your level you have to humble yourself to be taught again then your learning can actually bring the best out of you